Good evening, people. Welcome back down the garden bar tonight. Little midweeker session. It's a bit of a beer tasting session, but not a massive session. I'm just going to show you a few beers that I got at the weekend. First of all, big shout out and a big thank you to those com that commented about my garden bar sign. Um, everyone loved it. I'm well pleased with it actually. My daughter loved it and she's looking at getting one done. So, um, on that note, if you saw the video, you would have seen that I um, was on about an acrylic base. Because when you buy a router or a trim route, you get a small base so it can topple over. But it worked okay. But today I've, <coughs> I've finished off making the base. I've nearly finished making the base for the router. So basically that gives it more stability. 10mm thick piece of acrylic off of eBay. And a few holes drilled for the bottom. Uh, screwed through. Just waiting for some handles to come through. Gives it a bit more stability. So I'll be doing a few more signs yet. So if you've got any ideas for sign word words. Um bit of old timber. I've got some other bits of wood. I might get some more scaffold balls and make a few more when the weather's better. We'll have a look, have a, have a see. I'll look into it. But uh, just got to put a hole through the bottom there and off I go. But I've got to think of, you know, what's engraved really. What's put on there. Um, drink beer with good friends or something, I don't know. Pub signs or whatever, I don't know. Right, let's crack on with some, um, I've not had a beer yet tonight midweek and all that let's crack on with some beer first of all big fat shout out thank you to my missus happy valentine's darling i hope you all had a good weekend happy valentine's day if you had a valentine's day if you didn't don't worry about it it's not the end of the world but what i got was what did i get um bit of a lockdown quite happy valentine's weekend this weekend probably for the, most of you out there i suppose she bought me four bottles of uh, what were they? I can't remember what they were. Lagers, drank and they're gone. Superbock. Nice beer, Superbock. And this little surprise, because I kept going on about this shop. If you watch my other videos, you'll realise I've been going about it. It's this shop that sells owls, etc. Um, so she says, she Saturday, we did go the evening, but she says she gave me this present first, Saturday, instead of Sunday. And obviously it's because, the reason is because she bought me some already. She's already been there and bought these, so let me just go through this selection of beers that she bought me. As a surprise. Right, first one, Old Peculiar, Legendary Owl, 5.6% volume, put that there, right, Innis and Gun, the original, barrel aged Innis and Gun, Bourbon Barrel Scotch Owl, 6.6%, These all look a bit tasty, actually. Let me line them up. Get this out of the way. Yeah, get that there. Right. The bottle opener isn't ready. We've got two bottle openers, actually. So I'm going to have a quick couple tonight, I think. See what's on my... Well, I fancy some of these. Well, most of them, actually. Ah, oh, the one that we were talking about on the other video. If you watched that long video with my mate Graham. Platform 6.1 which is impeccable IPA, which is 6.1. Alcohol volume, 6.1. Platform, 6.1. It's made me bloody thirsty doing all this. Hobgoblin Ruby Beer, 5.2. Hobgoblin Ruby Beer, 5.2. It's like bingo, isn't it? Hobgoblin Ruby Beer, 5.2. It is a gun. 6.6. Oh, I'm licking my lips. Boone Doggle. Ringwood Brewery. Never heard of it. Boone Doggle. Deliciously fruity craft blonde owl. Now that's probably, I reckon that's going to be all right. That's a 4.2%. So that's a little bit weaker. But when it says blonde, it's like a lighter colour, I think. And then it's, it sort of goes down a little bit easier. Let's put that at the front there. Right, I'm getting this bag now out of the way. Throw it out of the way. Put it on the fire. King Goblin. Ah, now this is the one. King Goblin. Everyone loves a goblin, don't they? Imperial 6.6 .6 Ruby Beer. So that's a King Goblin 6.6. .6. Right. So what have we got so far? We've got a 6.6, .6, a 4.2. So let's just recap. Get this control out of the way. Recap. We've got Old Peculiar. Legendary Owl, 5.6. Innocent Gun, the original, Bourbon Scotch Barrel, 6. Point, that's the strongest one out of a lot, I think, tonight, at the moment. Platform, 6.1. You 
The standard hob oh, hobgoblin ruby beer, yeah, five point two. Boone doggle. There's a pretty little dog on there. Oh, I don't know what that is actually. Well, what? pig thing, four point two. And king goblin, six point six. So what's the strongest one out of that then? King goblin six point six, and the innocent gun. Scotch out six point six. So we did that. I got that as a Valentine's present. So she gave them to me early on for uh, Saturday because she, I kept going on and on about going to the shop. <coughs> Bit bored Saturday. Dummy sock. Did I do the sign Saturday? No, oh, bloody can't remember now. Or was that the week before? I can't bloody remember. Anyway, yeah, I did the sign Saturday? No, I didn't. I did it Sunday the sign, didn't I? Yeah, Saturday was a bit of a quiet day. Weather wasn't brilliant, so so I ended up going to the shops to get some more beers and have a little nose around. And I ended up picking these ones myself. Basically, what, whatever was left on the bloody shelf, really. Um, a bit of a, I'm a bit of a sucker for the old, um, I cheated really, I'm a bit of a sucker for the old um, commercial stuff, really. So I've, gone, I've got three Peaky Blinders up there. There's, I don't, not even open the whiskey, the gin and the rum. I couldn't resist this rhubarb cider. Peaky Blinders, it's from the Sadler's Brewery. Peaky Blinders, rhubarb cider, 4%. We're getting weaker, aren't we? So I'll put it out the back there. I got this one, Old Dodger, Marston's Brewery, Strong Dark Owl. <sighs> Don't know if that's going to be my cup of tea. It's a bit like homebrew, isn't it? 7.4%. Old Dodger. Um, any of you um, owl drinkers and all that out there, you might be interested in what I'm doing now, I'm not sure, but uh, you might prefer one. I, don't, I, don't to, I think I might, I, I might open two a night. Well, actually, I might have three in a minute, I'm getting a bit thirsty. Sadders Peaky Blinder Pale Owl, 4.3%. I went for the Sad Peaky Blinder one again. Pale Owl, 4.3%. I'm not sure these Peaky Blinder, are they real beers? Well, they just sort of made up for the Peaky Blinder name. Look forward to the um, next season. If you haven't seen Peaky Blind, it's a must watch. A must watch. Now, this was a little funny weed one I saw on the shelf. I don't know what that is about. It's like a cat. It's a proper old bottle. It's all in boss, you know, like the old days. Robinson's. Robinson's Old Tom Strong Owl. Ginger Tom. 6%. Only 330. That's a World of Beer Awards Gold Award. That's a proper, actually a lot of them are, I think. That's a proper, proper embossed old bottle. If you found that down the river in the clay, you think it was an old fashioned, some kid would think, oh, mum, dad, I found a bloody old fashioned bottle. But no, it's 2021. So I'm like, what am I going to drink? So what should I do? Should I drink two tonight? I'm not going to do one. I'm not out here all night. I wanted to do two. How many have we got here? Then we've got a little counter. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Right, they're looking good, aren't they? They're looking colourful. Right. Right, let's bring the old um, camera around and we'll see what we've got. Right, so I just filmed that little um, section there. I just took the camera in my hand and filmed that section and scanned across the beers just there. Nearly burnt my bloody legs, so be careful. If you've got one of these gas fires, be careful, they can burn. You know when your mum used to, or someone burns your ironing, it starts smelling like that? Hmm. I've got to watch that in the future. I mean, my trousers nearly went up in flames. Right, what should I do now? So what am I going to do? I think I'm right, two, four, six, eight. We've got ten beers there. And I've got... Actually, what have I got at the back there? I've got another couple at the back. Yeah, let's get them out. I'll be back in a minute. Let's get those in there. Right, it's getting fatal now. We've got another couple of beers off the shelf. We've got a Courage Best Bitter 3.6. I think that's just staying a bit out of the pub and it for the old boys. Right, what we've got here, McEwen's. Let me just show that to the camera in case you're ever. We've 
we've got a McEwan's Levy or Levy traditional traditional can I speak? I haven't had a beer yet. Traditional Scottish beer, dark in colour, light in taste, three point two. I'm putting a face of that. Did I show that to the camera? Have a look at that. Any good? And then the next one we've got Shepherd of Neem and Co. In your pal Al, Britain's Harvest Brewery. Yeah, they're in Kent. I've stayed up there a few times. Um, Mass Britain's Harvest Brewery, in your pal Al, 6.1. So little. Right, now. So four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen 12, 13 bottles of beer. Well, tell a lie, one cider, so we'll take that out of the mix, shall we? Take the cider out of the mix, and we're left with these beers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we've got twelve. So what should I do, two a night? A little tasting session, two a night? I think that sounds good. I'll see how we get on it. Let me open one now. So I've got the... Um, Glass ready from the local brewery, the Mighty Oak Malden, which I didn't buy their beer this week because I've got we've got this this came through Sunday. My missus bought me these Sunday, so I couldn't go and get another box of beer in the bag. So I'll do these this week, get them out of the way, and then we'll get beer in the bag next week, I think. So what we've got here. Now what am I gonna drink first? Now we might get going about that platform 6.1. But we had a few that night, I don't know if you saw that one, but I'd rather like what was the strongest one I had? 6.6, .6. let's get that out of the way, shall we? Where are you? Hobgoblin 5.2, Old Peculiar 5.6. I meant to bring a bit of um, pen and paper, do a bit, make some notes. Oh, it's quite a big bottle as well. Please, I'm going to do two at night. Not sure. Decisions, decisions. Barrel aged innocent gun, the original. These look nice on the old shelf, you know. I might get these bottles. Just display at the back. They've got nice labels and wash them out. I might go for that. You've never worn. <clears throat> Bourbon barrel Scottish owl, 6.6. .6. The original is a flagship beer, the one that started it all. Had a unique bourbon barrel aging process unlocks flavours like vanilla and toffee. Which combine with a multi character out Scotch owl to create an incredible taste experience. Okay, we spent more than a decade perfecting our craft. Find out how we put the barrels into the beer at innisandgun.com. 6.6, .6 and that's 660 millilitres. <clears throat> right, if you're at home with Danny Bar, Danny Gone, or whatever, watching this video, crack open a beer with me. We're going for it. 6.6. .6. I keep those lids because I think something work wants them. Right. Here we go. Let's see what colour we got first. Oh yes, proper. Nice light colour there. I'm not out all night, so it's a nice short video this tonight, so don't get carried away. Don't get some don't start fast forwarding. Well it looks alright, it's proper. It's not like my mate's home brew. What we had the other night. Alright, by the way, it's a proper the hat is for a reason tonight. It's a proper cut, proper COVID cut, that one. Just got to let that settle a bit, actually. You never know, it might be a nice, it might be a nice drop. <clears throat> Innocent Gun 6.6. .6. I like flavours like vanilla and toffee. Vanilla and toffee. God, it's not bad. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I just cut the camera. I just pause the camera for five minutes to let the head settle down. So we're still on. Or I'm still on, I don't know what you're on. I'm still on the Innocent Gun. 6.6, .6. so... It's quite tough going, this beer. But it is midweek, and that's... 
you clever people out there can tell me what a pint is because this has got to be over a pint. 660 mil that is. That's quite a bit in that bottle. I'm glad that one's out of the way. But that, that's quite a nice beer. I'm quite enjoying that. <clears throat> right. I should write that down a bit of pen and paper. So, well, I'm videoing it anyway, aren't I? So. I only popped that. I don't know, I keep saying it. I only popped that for a couple, but I'm literally only popping out for a couple just to get this, you know. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. I'm going to enjoy this week, I think, because, um, a bit of beer take, not every night you get done. But this wouldn't normally happen. It wouldn't normally be able to do it. I can taste the toffee there. Yeah, it's quite nice. Quite sweet. Um, yeah, I wouldn't normally go down a pub every night, I must admit, so it's quite a bit of a... Quite well, any, really. Yeah, what I'm going to do, tell the missus, I'm down there every night, doing a little taste test. I do two tonight. Well, it's quite, quite strong. Cool. And you definitely taste toffee in it, definitely. And I'm not brilliant at tasting stuff like that, but... Especially after all the pancakes I've had tonight. With syrup and jam or whatever. So I'm going to drink that. I'll probably cut the camera in a minute. I drink that. I'm going to grab a bag of nuts while I'm here. Big D. I'm going to drink this beer here. And then I'm going to pick another one, I think, before I go in. Before I go home, that is. So I'm going to do, probably do two a night. And I'm going to try and get these videos up the night I film them. See how long it takes. And I'm looking now for my next beer. I'm struggling with that bloody one, being on pine as well. It's quite filling. Well, it's a pang I'd heard earlier, doesn't help. Um, you don't normally go for a beer on a full stomach, it's a bit of a struggle. That's a big old bottle of beer, that is. I can't remember the price of that. It wasn't fortunes. You can definitely taste the toffee, excuse me, eat nuts. You can definitely taste the toffee now, it's quite filling. I'm trying to lose weight, cut back a bit, you know, as you do. Now, I'm trying to think what to have next. I might go for a week or one. Or do I go for a small bottle? Let me try and drink this first. I don't know about having a mouthful of nuts. I don't want to film you. I don't want you to watch, just sit there watching me drink. Well, if you are at home or down your garden bar, grab a beer and join me. Cheers. Good health. Ah. Cool. That's tough, that's tough going. You couldn't you couldn't have a session on them. It's nice, but it's bloody heavy. Two of them you'd be full up, I reckon you'd be ready for bed. Cool. I think they put that on pump. You don't let them have that draft, would they? Cool, you couldn't go to the pub and drink that. Oh, I'm struggling. Um I've done the nuts virtually. The things I do for you people, this is a struggle. I'm on my first beer. Now, if I was down the pub, my local, I was back into the system sort of thing, back in the routine, and they called last orders, we'd all be like, what were you used to, me and my mates? Another one. You sure? Yeah, another one, another one. Irish oh, miss, like, nightcap. One on a bar, another one on a bar, one in a pump, and one, on, one like, you know, a chaser sort of thing. But... I'm only a few years ago now, but I'm... This is a bit of a challenge I've set myself here. I'm thinking I'm 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 too good to you, like really. I'm looking at all these beers thinking I've got to come down here every night and drink two or three beers a night. Ah. The things I do for you know for taste testing or for the viewers. God, it's putting me off staring at them. 
pretty labels. It's all about marketing, isn't it? And what's all these stars? Why they've got stars on? That's got a star there. Hold on, but this one's got that the same brewery. No, it's Ringwood Brewery. It's got a star there. It's all pretty labels and it's all to catch your, catch your eye on the shelf. So I suppose when you're looking around a shop or a supermarket or the off license, if they still exist, I know I've not seen off license for quite a while. We used to have a lovely little off license where I used to live, but always down there because you always get a spot, of, um, a decent spot to drink in there, proper, or treat your missus to a nice bottle of wine or something. But now it's all supermarkets, supermarkets have taken over now, haven't they? Undercut everyone in the UK at least. Um, yeah, this is all about marketing the names, the badges, and the glitter, and the, the bottle tops. Pick me, pick me. I mean, you got your Frankstons or your the Frankstons, old peculiar. Your black and your gold it reminds me pretty much of the old um, cigarettes from the old days, the Formula One. Legendary out, out five. I don't know I could do that tonight. Five point six. I'm gonna bloody struggle to do these bottles. Do come up quite big, some of them. Not like your little cans of lager, you can just down them. These do, they're, they're not a session beer, are they? Really? It's more of a, like a, a, a slow, slow drink and a chat, I suppose. I suppose that's why it's like got an old boy's reputation, I suppose. But I mean, look at that. The size of that. To so that, you know what I mean? Little and large, isn't it? I'm not sure what that's all about. What's in this one then? 330, that's 660, so that's half. What's that pint at half? I don't know. It's one of walls, this. I might do that next. Ginger Tom, Robinson's. Oh, Liverpool have scored. Keep Carl happy. Guy at work, Liverpool fan. One in the last week now. Well, actually, better this this score keeps him bloody happy, keeps him off our backs, keeps him quiet. Well, that's empty. All right, the bottle's empty, so we know where we are. So come on, let's concentrate. Let's not get on a downer. Right. Cheers, lads. She's gone. Oh. You can really taste the toffee in that. And I'm, I'll be honest with you. If I had a pen and paper, I was marking out of 10. Oh, well, I'll give it a six. It's not my cup of tea, the toffee taste. It's too much for a big bottle like that. You couldn't, I don't think you could do two of them. Oh, it's actually put me off beer. It's a bit like the Irish Mist. It's got the, the, I love that Irish Mist. If you watch my other video, you realise, but and my friends do, but it's got the honey taste. It's an acquired taste. But that beer with the toffee can taste it so strong, that toffee. It's almost like I want a normal beer to wash it away with, really. Yeah, I don't know. No, you couldn't, I don't think you could drink two of them. God, pardon me, is that 6.6? I can't do the platform 6.1 tonight, I don't think. Not at my age. That's a bit, I've got a feeling that's not going to be too, we'll have a look, well, not, not tonight. I'm going to stick with what I know, I think. I'm going to be safe tonight. After that, I'm going to have one more. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to be safe tonight. I'm going to think I'll go, I've got to go with the Hobgoblin, haven't I? There's two Hobgoblins, wasn't there? Yeah, we've got, so let's get a Hobgoblin out of the way. We've got a King, King Goblin. What's that? We've got a King at Goblin, which is six point Imperial Ruby beer. Six point six. Now did I just drink a six point six? Yes, I believe indeed, didn't I? Yeah, that's the two strongest beers out of the lot. The Innocent Guns toffee flavoured drink. And we've got a King at Goblin six point six. So we're not gonna do the King Goblin six point six tonight. That's too strong for Johnny Boy. Night it is anyway. That's a Friday night 
beer. It's good though, because I'm getting. A, I'm not a beer expert, but I'm getting a bit of a tasting for them. And they look pretty on the bar. I might get the bottles on the back shelf there. Incidentally, if you're with me and still watching this video and you've sort of dragged yourself through halfway through the video, I've decided, and I thought about this a lot lately, I've spent a lot of time down here and it needs a bit of a tidy up. But I'm going to get some, I want to get some proper uh, pub tables now. I want to get some proper, I haven't told the other half yet, so hopefully she won't, watch, she won't watch this bit of the video. But I've got my art set on, I don't know what, I get blokes get like that. When we want something, we sort of get it and we won't give up. It's something silly. I, I'll get, I don't know if you guys are saying, but I'll get my mind sort of something. I want it. A bit like my router, I just want it. And I was like, there's no other model. I want that. And I will get it. Um, I ain't got loads of money, but when I want something, I'll sort of get it. Not a Porsche or a Ferrari, but, you know, when I wanted me little camera, I wanted, me, I wanted that router, I wanted that router, I got it. Don't know why, it's just the one I want. You see something, you want it. So, I've decided now, I'm sitting up here doing these videos, and I'd like to sit over there. I've got a nice bench behind the camera here. I've, you've seen it in the other videos probably. And the bench seating I've done will be, one day be converted into a bed, another video, another story. But meanwhile, that, I think I've done that at the correct height. If you go down my local pubs, the bench seating in the pubs, uh, Smuggler's Den, etc., other pubs are available. That's pretty much proper standard bench seating height. But I tend not to sit there unless I've got my feet up watching the big TV on my right here over my shoulder. I've got TV there, by the way, TV there, just showing off. But I tend not to sit there, and I was thinking about it, why Why don't I sit there? And the reason is, is because I've got these coffee table type things from next door, which is great. Cheers, Sean, if you're watching. But they're like coffee table things. They're not really tables. Now, I thought to myself the other day, if I had proper tables, the pub, you know, the round. I want the round ones, a bit higher, higher up. You can lean on them like this, you know, and have your beer like that. Will you beer, mate? Oh dear, it's one all. Oh mm, god. Oh no, it's not two nil. Right, so yeah, if you've got a higher pub table, you can sort of lean on your elbow and have a chat, you know, and be like right, two. The round one, then round one, tucked in. I've got plenty of room in here. I'll get rid of that, tuck that under. I've got plenty of room in here if I. Put the tables over there and tuck that, those tables under there. Um, oh, shut up. I'll do a video here. Yeah, so I want two pub tables there with the, iron, the cast iron feet, the legs rather. And then you can sit there, read. So I'll be then, I can do some videos watching there. I'll be more inclined then to sit over there on the comfy bench with the comfy cushions and then watch this big TV behind me. And then I can sit here and do some videos there and I can sit here and do some videos here. Another story. So I'm on the lookout. If you're in Essex, UK, um, I'm on the lookout for some pub. Probably everyone at the moment's building these bars and sheds. Everything seems to have shut up in price. The pumps, the price of some of these pumps I've said is ridiculous. 150, 170 quids. But having said that, unfortunately, a lot of our, there are pubs shutting down because of this COVID crap that's going on at the moment. So um, there might be some. So I might speak to some local local people, I don't know. See if I can get over some. I want two tables, I think. Yeah, just a small round ones with the cast iron legs. I don't want to spend too much either. <laughs> Asking a lot, I know. Well, let's crack open another beer. Another beer. Right, we're back on. We're back uh, recording now. Um, I've had a bit of a break. It's midweek, I'm a bit tired, to be honest with you. It's a struggle. Um. I've moved the camera angle so you can get all these beers, it looks good. Yeah, so, as I was saying, I want to get some decent tables down there. Two round pub tables, that's all I want, and that I'll be happy. Uh, my missus will moan like hell. I reckon. You spent this, you spent that, I've had it for the last year. You spent this, probably if you've done that, you've done that. Last summer, I just spent a lot of time down there doing bits and pieces, like painting the walls, painting the ceiling. When I could have sort of been decorating indoors and painting that, was her sort of feeling, you know, that's her idea, but... Um, I must admit, I was coming home from work at night and painting the walls and ceiling, doing bits and pieces. Spent a lot of time down here, but it's therapeutic, really. I want to get it done. It's done now, but I do want these tables. I've only got to pick them up in the trailer on my motor, back of my motor. 50 quid each max, I reckon. 
Um, not sure I'll get them for that. I should have bought more gear from the local part. Well, I won't mention them. It's not local to me, but when I, when I sold these pumps, I had loads of gear for sale before this COVID thing locked down. Before all this lockdown. They were just closing for personal reasons, nothing to do with COVID. Um, I should have bought some gear then, really. I should have loads of stuff for sale. I just got these two pumps. Just bought them off, off the cuff, these two pumps. Well pleased with them. Well pleased. And everything's going up in price now. They're worth a lot of money, they are. I should have bought loads. She had loads of gear for sale, this woman and her girlfriend. Loads of stuff for sale. Or her partner, or whatever. And I should have bought, I should have bought more. She had tables, chairs, and doors, sign, pub sign. I bought, the, actually, I bought some pub signs, the licensing signs. A couple of quid. Go and bloody Amazon buy them. They're like, a lot of money. These pubs are a lot of money. Oh, and I bought the Guinness, yeah, I bought that, that. Well pleased. But I should have bought some more bits. Anyway, I'm on the hunt for two tables. I will get my one pair of the odd stuff. I'll, I'll hunt about. And I know the ones I want. I might speak, speak to me local landlady. I know the ones. I've, I've got me in my head the ones I want. The round, small round ones. So high with a cast iron feet on them. And I'm not paying silly money just because it's like lockdown or people are building these, these bars in their gardens. I'm not prepared to do that. But they will just go better there because you'll be inclined to sit there, rest on the table and have a drink. I could even get just about fit a couple of chairs around there, I reckon, as well. I mean, I appreciate what the name has given me, this big coffee table thing, big bench in, these ones here. Get them out of the way, slide them under there out of the way, all the crap. Got to tidy up here. Two chair tables, definitely put two tables there. I could put even a couple of pub chairs around there. I could get more people down there. Right, let's stop going on. We're down there to do a beer taste test, and this video is going to be a short video. It's not going to be one of my long, boring, drag on videos. It's going to be a short one. I've gone for it. What have I gone for? You guessed it. Your basic hobgoblin. Can you see that from there? Your basic hobgoblin ruby beer, 5.2%. Because I've had the innocent gum one, bit strongy, bit strong for Johnny Boy. Bit of a toffee taste. Oh, this is hopefully just going to taste like beer. Now, what's it sign about? Let me read it out. This distinct ruby beer's sweet caramel. Oh, another caramel. Are they all caramel then? Sweet caramel and fruity aromas tease the taste buds. Brewed with smooth and rich chocolate and crystal malts and a blend of, oh my God, hops, blah, 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 blah. Expect a delicious, full-bodied toffee flavour. Oh, no, are you having a laugh? I didn't know, are they all toffee flavour? They're not all toffee flavour beers, are they? Oh, a bit. Expect a delicious fat. Full bodied toffee flavour and a fruity finish of figs, raisins, and dates. Oh no, I bought the wrong bloody one here. Oh god, let's get it out of the way. It's a tough job. Oh my god, look how dark that is. Oh dear, have I bought the wrong one? It's a tough job, people, but somebody's got to do it. And I'm doing this for you, the subscribers and the casual browsers and the viewers. That's dark as well. I didn't know it was that dark. Can you see that? I've got changed tonight. I come out tonight and I'll, I came out. Sound like, sound like I'm going actually out, out, properly out. You know, like down the pub. Oh, I'm going out. Oh, I'm going out. I come out tonight. I've got changed. I thought, you know what? For a change, I couldn't find my bloody Ralphie Red Jumper. Or well, Dark Red. I found this old thing, I thought, I'll put this on. I thought, oh, the subscribers will think, oh, Johnny Boy's not wearing green for a change. It turns out this is almost a bloody green, isn't it? I thought, oh, where's that different? Couldn't find the other jumper. Put this on. It's almost bloody green. I always wear green. Anyway, don't worry about that. This is dark. I'm struggling at night. I think this video would be better live, like stream it to the internet live, and then YouTube automatically saves it for you. Then I'm, I'm done. 
I'm trying to explain my other I've done my son the other day that it sounds um, sort of obvious, but if you film yourself for say, let's say yourself, you, me, I, I've been ramble on, don't I? So if you film yourself for say 40 minutes, right, that's good for me. That's been um, tame. So say I film myself for 40 minutes. That means you've got 40 minutes of filming, okay? You've then got to take the card, memory card, put it onto your computer, drop it across onto your PC, on your hard drive. Then you whack it into some software to um, produce a video, render it out, blah, blah, blah. So then you've got to sort of clip, flick through your clips and delete bits and do transitions from one clip to another. And say you work out 40 minutes down to 30 minutes. So then you've got, you've got your 40 minutes that you sort of watched so you film for 40 minutes, then you're watching 40 minutes of your boring self. Then you're deleting and editing bits again. I mean, I didn't do it in my last video. I was cutting it short. I mean, every sign video was the same. By the end of the night, you're so bloody knackered. And you really say it's a 30, you've cut it down to 30 minutes. You've got to really watch it back from beginning to end for 30 bloody minutes. By this time, you've watched your bloody clip three or four bleeding times. So you've watched a 40 minute clip twice, then you've watched, uh, cut it down a photo, you've watched that, you in the end you just, you just beep, excuse me, you hit the publish button, just publish it, and then you watch it back, you think, oh, I could have done that better, I could have done that better, I could have edited that out, I could have done that, could have done that. But all hats hats off, and all due respect to these guys that do these professional, I suppose they do it full time. But these guys that are on there all the time, these girls and that are on there all the time doing these long videos, they're so, taking a lot of time. It's so, some of them film all day, I think there's a local girl in our village, that does it as a full-time job, YouTube videos. And I think she films like the whole, you start producing it properly. You start playing. Uh, my other half met her on a train with her mum, going to see a show before lockdown. I hate that terminology, by the way, lockdown. And my, my Mrs. Bump didn't want the train, going to London. I don't know what she was going there for. See some other bloke, probably, I don't know. And uh, she bumped into this girl that we know. I can't remember her name now. She's quite, well, I say big on YouTube. She's not that big. She was with her mum. And someone had sent a theatre, the theatre were sent a theatre tickets. And what she had to do, like these are theatre tickets, but you can only use them if you take a guest with you and then film it to the, you know, so she had to film it on the train, film it going into the theatre, film the whole show, excuse me, to do review the whole show. And um, and obviously mention the people that gave her the tickets. So she got a free night out and her mum got a free night out, but she got to film it all, edit it all. It's a lot of work, a lot of work. And that got me thinking, I think I've got 300 odd subscribers at the moment. I'm not sure, but. Now, not every one of those 300 subscribers is gonna watch this video, but if they do, that's quite frightening. 300 people are watching me talk rubbish or drink beer. And this isn't rubbish, this is a proper taste test. That's, um, That's only 300 people. Then it got me thinking, these guys on YouTube, or girls on YouTube, some have got, say you've got 10 million, um, all right, there's 2 million, 2 million subscribers or viewers. That's 2 million people that are watching that person. But then I thought, then I thought, on a bigger scale, if you're a band or a singer playing to Wembley, it sort of, it dawns on you, doesn't it? You've got all those people, millions of people watching you. I'm thinking about it, just thinking off the cuff now, I'm watching the football, no one's watching them at all actually at the moment, but under normal circumstances, who's watching them? Weird, isn't it? You've got to put it to the back of your head, I suppose, all these people watching you. Just do what you do. Now, the good thing is, I'm rambling on, and that means I'm enjoying the beer, I think. When I was drinking this one, if you noticed, I wasn't too... You know, but this one I'm more relaxed. Now, is that because the alcohol was kicking in, although it's only my second bottle, or is it because it's a better beer? It's darker, it's got a stronger aroma. This is my expert opinion now, like as a beer taster. It's got it's dark, it's got a stronger aroma, it's got a toffee ish taste, and it says on the label, so I'm stealing that quote from the label. But it's not as toffee, and it's it's not as sweet as the other one. I think I prefer 
the Hobgoblin Ruby Beer, 5.2 to the Innocent Gun. But Innocent Gun, if you've got anything, if you're watching this and you've got anything to do with Innocent Gun, I'm not saying it's a bad beer. You know, if you're about to send me a crate of them to taste out, or you've got different ones you want me to taste, feel free to send them through the post. I'll do a little video for you, not a problem. And I'll give my honest opinion after a couple of beers. I did quite like that Innocent Gun one, actually. Again, Hobgoblin people, if you're watching, Richwood Brewery, you know. They do fishing gear as well, by the way. Because this is meant to be a carp fishing channel. The way I'm going on now and talking, I think we're going to have to call this two beers a night. We can't do three beers a night because I'll be all bloody night yet again. We're going to have to call it two beer a nighter. That could be the title. Two beer a night. Two beer a nighter or something. Something along those lines. Um, yeah, I can't drink any more. It's kicking in a little bit, that is. That Hobgoblin, now, I suppose in layman's terms, because I'm no expert, the Hobgoblin, I could go down the pub and, and drink with me mates and pour it into a glass. Bit old-fashioned-y, you know, a slow drink. Now, what do you want, Johnny Boy? Yeah, I have a Hobgoblin. You know, I'm assuming it comes on, I think it comes on draft. Did it all come on draft? I'm not sure. I don't know. But I could probably, but I wouldn't be able to go, hey, have a beer Friday night, let's get on it. It'd be a quite... A sensible that'd be a sensible beer you know what i mean watching that'd be watching snooker probably in the pub in the evening watching the snooker where your super bock would be watching the football wouldn't it and your lagers the innocent gun toffee flavor stuff that'd be like ooh. i don't know what that'd be really I don't want you to be watching drinking that. Yeah, the Hobgoblin's more of a mature, I'd say a mature beer for your mature people, really. Which I'm not one of them, really. But yeah, I'm partial to Hobgoblin. If you feel, if you pop around my house, bring a bottle, you know, a box of Hobgoblin, I'm not going to turn them down. If you turn up Mark around my house with Innocent Gun, I'm not going to turn them down either, to be fair. But I won't be as happy. That way. Right, so that's that tonight. I'm going to drink this. I've got to crack on because I could drink another and sit here talking rubbish all night. And we don't want that because we're never going to get anywhere with the videos. And it takes so long to produce or, and render and blah, 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 I'll publish and upload with my internet connection. And plus it's midweek. So I've decided, yes, I've decided, I've come to the decision that we're going to do two a night. Or every, whenever, every video will be two beers only. Doesn't matter what they are, this whole lot. I'm going to leave these here. And when they're empty, I've decided, little plan, I'm going to stack them at the back. So I've got that one there, I'll put that one there. Tomorrow night, night after, whenever I'm back down here, I'm going to get another two. I'll do another two tasting. I'm thinking tomorrow already, or now, whatever night comes down there, I'm thinking I won't do another goblin, king goblin. Although at 6.6, .6, tempting. I really want to do that platform with 6.1 because my mate was on about it. And then one other. Don't know yet. I'm looking. I mean, if you watch my videos, you'll know this little tiny bottle will be probably last because it's tiny. Should have bought two of them, really. Because I want to try that, but there ain't nothing in the bloody bottle there, is there? It's like something you give to your kids, really. Or your cat, Jim to Tom. You know, if you're going to do a beer, put it in a bloody beer bottle, at least a proper bottle. I'm not sure what that's all about, really. The girls, well, no, I can't say that. Get a bloody shot, wouldn't I? So I reckon next session, well, not session, yeah, next tasting video will be the platform 6.1. I'm, I'm leaning towards the platform 6.1, and this is just sort of sitting there doing nothing, boondoggle. So doing... I don't know what it's meant to say. 2.4.2. Deliciously fruity. Craft. Blonde. Yeah. There's no toffee in that, is there? Please don't mention toffee. No, don't mention toffee. We take two... Well, I'm not going to read that out because I'm boring you now. Let's just quickly look at 6.1. Platform 6.1. Right, don't say a lot. Oh, bloody. I haven't got in that. Multi-views. 
Not a lot in that. I mean, three to four units. Oh, could I start reading you? Don't start reading the units out. For Christ's sakes. I'll be bloody banned. I better be banned my own pub. Done it. Two beers a night. Two taste tests. That's my verdict. Oh, knackered. <coughs> oh, dear. If you're sitting down in your garden bar, chilling out, having a beer, watching this, have one on me, yeah? Go to the shops, see if you can find any of these beers and join me for a beer, yeah? So next time. So next time we're going to be doing the 6.1 platform and one of these other ones, I don't know. Old Dougal, I was saying. We call it a night. You know what I'm like. I've got to call it a night, otherwise I'll be all bleeding night. Thing is, I've got an empty glass now. I can't even say cheers probably, can I? Or have I said cheers? I'm going to finish my nuts off. We've got a few nuts left here. I might take a fossil. Have I got any fossils left? Oh, I might as well have a while I'm here. Oh. Pour that in there. Sod it. We only have once. Let's get rid of this. Wash all that down. That, wash that weird owl down. I keep going back to this bling lager. I'm going to cut the mouthfuls. So I watch the rest of the football, I should go and do this video. I'm not sure. Pardon me. The other half, God bless her, bought me some, all these beers, most of these beers, for Valentine's. And four bottles of Super Bock. The big bottles, they're nice. But out of those four bottles, because I'm so sad and I was and tired. I reckon out of those bottles, out of the four bottles, I literally drank two. Because two, so I woke up the next morning, I just fell asleep. You know, it's like you go to bed and it's like that much missing at the top. And you sort of got to pour it away, but you can't drink it. I suppose you could, I suppose you could put a lid on. Why don't I do screw tops? I say you could put a lid on. Could, couldn't you? And these beers really, like, you know, these were big super bot ones. Now, if I had a screw top, it's like a wine bottle. I could have, like, have a, have a bit and put a lid on, but I left them. The next morning, I just put it down the sink. I put it down the sink. Well, what, like, well, not drunk, just tired. I thought, like, what bloody waste, really? It's a bloody waste. So, out of those four bottles she bought me, God bless, of the, of the lagers, and I like Superbot as well. Um, out of those four bottles of lagers she bought me, I sort of probably drank two. The rest was to pour, pour away. Well, I'll say two and a half. I did pour quite a bit the way, but if I had lids, you know, it's like wine bottles, they come with lids or corks, don't they? So why, you know, this big bottle, don't assume you're going to do it in one hit. I suppose the moral is there, don't open a bloody bottle if you, you know, but you do, didn't you, when you're tired. You had a couple, if you only have one more, I mean, it's just, excuse me, I keep burping, it's a bit rude. I mentioned this in one of my other videos. When you have a couple, you want more. But um, what you should do, I suppose, when you want that last bottle, you're going to go open that last bottle. Go, no, no, I'm not going to open that last bottle. I won't have the last bottle. I'll put it to one side. So have another day. But you know what you do? You open the last bottle. Mouthful, mouthful. Hour late, you wake up asleep. Oh, no. And, you, and the next morning, you've got a whole bottle wasted. And that's not through having so much to drink. That's purely through tiredness. Because, you know, we work hard, don't we? Get up. It's getting lighter, I've noticed at night, by the way. If we're gonna dra I'm dragging this video on again. That's what I do. Dark in the morning, but I noticed tonight, because I worked on a bit tonight, and I noticed, I think it was half five-ish in the UK, at least. Half five-ish is still, it's on the turn. It's not bleeding, get, it's not dark till about six now, I think. Happy days. That's when this comes to its own. That's when we get the doors open, we get the, we get the old vinyls going, yeah? Get the doors open, get the vinyl records on, get some Spanel Bally on, George Michael, hence the name of this bar, or pub, shed. And, um, that's when I got to reseal the patio, clean it and reseal it, and the top patio. 
Right, oh, I wasn't gonna, this video is gonna be a short video, but I'm gonna have to tell you about the cat. What happened was, <laughs> I wasn't gonna tell you. But I will just tell you this, because it's meant to be a beer tasting video. What happened was, in the summer, we just had, decided to get the garden done, because it was a mess, so, I had an old patio up the top of the garden for ages, and I always built, I built a patio years ago myself, and I always made it big. The kids, when they're little, they, they rode around on a bike. Um, a, a motorised electric bike I bought them. Nice big patio. Long story short, <clears throat> I had a few quid for some private work I've been doing, some photography work. And uh, I think, I mean, Dad passed, I'm not sure in the summer, I thought, right, I'm finally, finally going to clear this shed out and build it into a bar. And I've always wanted to do a patch up, I wanted to patch up Danny's end, really. So to keep her up on a patch up the top as well by the house. So I've got the guy coming around the landscape come builder you know I said right, I want that done that done and when I come home and work you didn't do what I did but anyway that's another story so I said no I want the patio down this end right what happened was that was it I'll tell you what happened uh, the next door neighbour had his patio done and he had a crate of slabs left out the front it was big like grey slabs you might have seen me on other videos coming the corner these stones quite expensive they were and my dad had just passed away, and I was talking to him out the front, a bit depressed, a bit like a bit of a down, right, mate? I'll tell you what, John, you can have these. Well, in the end, you got only 50 quid, but that's another story. <laughs> you can have these, mate, you can have these. Really? And it's like half a crate, whatever, slabs. Well, that's nice. I've only got to buy a few more. I had a measure up. Because of lockdown, the first lockdown it was, could I get these bleeding slabs? No, they were like rocking horse, whatever. I could not, nothing's been imported anyway. So the prob I, could, I, sh in the high I should have just bloody bought my own, sl my own bloody stones, really. Because I was marrying up with his ones. I, in the end, I did get the same ones, the exact same ones, the exact same brand and everything. I couldn't get bloody anywhere. I had to wait and wait and wait. I paid thousands of these bloody stones, delivering all that. Bloody thousands. I think they were a grand. Got my feet up now. I'm relaxing now. Oh. Got his slabs. Got his bloke round and done his patio next door. Give us a price. Everything was a grand, 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 grand. Anyway, do this patio down, buy all my stuff. Anyway, bought these crates of slabs, got delivered. Come, can you come in? Dug it all out. Nice job, patio, done grass, patio, and all that. And I'm pleased with it. And I wanted a big, he, he started doing his patio down here at this end, too small. I said, No, I want it big enough. You've got to, have it, you've got to be able to fit your bleeding furniture on it. You've got to be able to sit on your patio. So the top patio is big. So you can get family around, have a barbecue, you know. Some seats and chairs. I don't, it's no good having four slabs away. You don't have it big. I'm not into grass cutting and all that, but I left a bit of grass. I was going fake, but I got put off fake because he said it smells. So anyway, whatever. So I've got, I've got normal grass, but it's only a little patch. And I've got some leftover slabs. If you watch my other videos, you'll see that I've dug some. Temporarily in the winter, I put some slabs down as stepping stones, and in the end, I've dug them in there because they always save gardening. I'm no expert. I've watched these shows, I've watched a lot of shows, and they say put some slabs down. Or just keep walking on the garden. See where you're walking. That's your path. So I put some slabs down temporarily. When my daughter and that had a baby shower, they all, oh, the slabs are great. So I dug them in and left them there. It's a nice little stepping stone. Another story. So, patio's done. Top patio's done. Bottom patio's done. These black slabs. So the guy says to me, you go out and blah, blah, blah. I filled them in. Pointed them, rather. But it's modern grout. You wash out water. Oh, you got to sit, you got to sit, because they're black and they do stay, you got to, they look lovely when they're wet. So I mean, what you've got to do is get it really clean, nice dry day. You put a sealant, there's a hundred and high loaf for some sealant. I won't tell the company's name. A hundred and high loaf for some sealant. I don't know what next door, but I'm, oh, I'm going to do it again. It's another, I'm going to do mine again, because I, I hunt the high loaf for sealant. And um, I bought this, like, two big tins of sealant. I think it's 50, 60 quid a bloody tin. And... I was so excited to get it done. You meant to wait for a, d a dry day. I think I got in, we've gone out for a meal somewhere. I got in the evening, it had been raining a little bit. And there's a few little puddles. I thought, ah, oh, so I'm going to do this soon. Do in the summer, because, you know, you've got light, you know, in the stubling in the evening, in the summer. I sort of went out there at 7, 8 o'clock at night for some reason. I started pouring this in it when brushing it around. Now, I didn't realise at that time it wasn't really drying quick enough. So it was still sort of wet because of the weather. 
although it was warm, it was a summer's evening, it wasn't summer day, so it wasn't drying and I wasn't there, so so I put the ceiling down, it looked lovely, all glossy, seals it and it but the cat was scratching to go out, yeah meow yeah, So I who let it out? Someone we let it out the front. I let the cat out the front, it's an old cat anyway, but I let it out the front thinking that'll be fine fine out there. Obviously, it's walked round the back of the house to the back garden next door. And whatever. I'm jokingly, I've looked at my son's bedroom out the back, and I saw the cat come across the patio, stepping on this ceiling. It's gone off because there's puddles. It hasn't dried. There's puddles of it, and puddles of water. Anyway, it got the something. It got up the side of the grass. It looked, it looked a bit dodgery. And next minute we know, I feel so bad about telling this story actually. Next week, if you if you get this final video, watch this. I hope no one listens to this. It's meant to be a beer tasting video. I've spoiled it yet again by rambling on, rambling on. It's not meant to be a rambling video, it's meant to be a beer tasting video. I've got the heat on here, I could sit all bloody night. I could sit here all bloody night actually. It's, it's like being down the bloody pub. Love it. So anyway, the cat come round the patio, up the garden. Like that. It got to the back door. So I looked at my son's bed, just had a shell, looked at my son, mucking about really. I said, I said, Jill, Jill, I think the cat's had it, like, something's wrong with the cat. Jesus, mate, it all kicked off, didn't it? She's gone to the back patio, the back conservatory window. The cat, unbeknown to me, or whatever, it's what we, we realise now, it's done. It's gone through the sealant which has got a chemical on it and i had a moment on my youtube about it actually but they won't play ball i still think it's wrong there's no leaflet with it there's just writing everything says be safe be safe anyway it's it's walked through the puddles and it's it's got this chemical on its feet and it's leaked its feet apparently it's a common thing actually the vet says yeah vet yeah you know it it's at the back door foaming at the mouth all foam coming at the mouth my, she's got into one, isn't she? She's got into one. And it, we, I thought she got. Oh, mate, it's, it's, it's horrifying. And then my son's got into one. God bless my youngest son, the sensible one, found up the vet. Well, so sensible. He's the only one that calmed everyone down. Now, my cat is what you call wild. It's not really a, a nice, calm pet. It is wild. It don't go anywhere. You can't do anything with it. You can't cuddle it or nothing to do nothing with it. God bless my son. Anyway, we managed to. Don't know how we managed to grab it's all down there. It's your fault, your fault, oh, whatever. Managed to wrap it up in a blanket, hit it a few times, and get it in a car. Jeez, it was going. My old Nancy, we had a cardboard box, didn't have a proper case in a cardboard box with smiles in it. It was going bloody loopy. We managed to get it in this vet, and I, yeah, COVID must have been about because I remember the vet being like, staying in a car park, and the woman and the nurse come out to us, the veterinary nurse. Oh, is your cat feral? Is it wild? We said, yeah, basically, yeah, we realised that. So they literally, I think, sedate it. And they charge you, they come out to the car, and they say, they've got to warn you to fight the fees. Just to let you know, we have to phone a poison expert on call, right? Just to work out what it is. I said, well, I can tell you what it is, darling, it's that. Yeah, read the small print on this tin. She, you know, and, oh, we've got to phone him. And he basically said what it said on the tin. You know, wash them out, do this, that, and the other, whatever they did, I don't know. Well, that was 50, 60 quid. And then she goes back out of the car, oh, it's going to be £300, just let you know it's going to be £300. Well, what are you doing with £300? Quid? Not a lot. Uh, we've done the um, the call to the expert, the poison expert. Well, I could have told you what it was, darling. It was the chemical we put on there. Anyway, £300 quid later, a few tablets, a load of rubbish, come home and she was all right. But, Jesus, that was a night. That's a, that was a night to remember. And my arrived, Jill, God bless her. Happy Valentine's Day, thank you. Thanks for the beers. She actually mentioned it the other day. Oh, two little dimple. She mentioned it the other day. Um, yeah, when the warm get, weather gets warmer, just before summer, just before that barbecue time in the UK, I'm going to get down my hands and I need to clean all the patio again, all the furniture off, clean it all again because obviously I don't seal. I'm going to reseal really it. I'm going to speak the name. I see what he bought. He bought some different sealer. But you've got to do it during the day so you're there. So if any pets do get in you can shoo them off. Because it's a bit stupid, but I emailed them that their video that demonstrates this, this ceiling, the company I use, that their video on YouTube, you can't comment on it. 
And I emailed him and said, look, I'm not being funny, lads. You owe me 300 quid. You owe me at least half the vet bill and the chemical's rubbish. Can't, I won't never use it again. Never. Oh, you should read the small print on the tin. It doesn't say anything about pets. Just says your standard cosh stuff, you know, your chemical stuff. Doesn't mention keep away from pets. Because I'm, I was crapping myself then. Because I'm thinking, shit, because she just bought the next door neighbour. Um, they're a lovely couple next door, but she just bought like three or four little kitten things. And I thought, if one of them wanders next door, so I said to my wife, don't say anything. If one of them wanders next door and it's walked on there, it's dead. We're in trouble. It's down to me. Jesus, don't let me blink. That would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? Cool. I mean, I'm young cats had it now anyway. It's, it's got to mention that it's, it's got on its last legs. But I don't mean that carry well. But the company wouldn't wouldn't accept responsibility. No. I don't know what to do about that. That was a year ago, but I've still, still not forgotten that. I'm happy about that. It's a £300 vet bill. You know, if they had said big letters, do in the daytime, do this, put this in on your patio in the daytime, it's got to be dry, keep away from pets, harmful for pets. I wouldn't have bloody done it. I'm not that stupid. I didn't think the thing would be foaming in a bloody mouth, did I? Jesus. Mm, weren't happy about that. Anyway, that's that. You live and learn, don't you? I shouldn't have done it in the evening. But it might have happened in the day. If I'd done it in the daytime, and I'm up to, I've, if I coated the bottom patio for the bar, and then I went to the top patio, but for the house, and coated that, and then the cat walked across his bottom patio and licked his lips, licked his paws, sorry. Same would have happened. I can't bloody say stop, stop, you know. It doesn't say keep pets in, keep pets away. Out of all of you ask me, this company said, I'll, I'll, actually, you've reminded me, I won't forget this. I'll chase that up this summer. I'll have them. I'll sort them out. What football got? Uh, Chelsea, Munich. Man City, Champions League. Mm. Should we do it beautiful? I've got to say good night now. I've, I've had me couple of. We've done a beer test. We've done a gun, in the guns one. We've done the Obgoblin. Watch them with bloody Fosters. How's that for beer test? I'll catch you in the next video, people. New remote control bought for me um, camera, so I should be at press this button. I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.